So I'm going to tell you quickly what's happening with amphibians around the world. Uh, amphibians, which are the frogs, toads, newts, salamanders, and Sicilians, are the most threatened group of animals on the planet. One third of the world's 6,485 species of amphibians are on the verge of extinction, and 200 species have completely disappeared in the last 30 years. And this is not normal because um, amphibians naturally go extinct at a rate of about one species every 500 years. So they're disappearing about 3,000 times faster than they should be, and this is for a variety reasons. Habitat destruction, uh, humans are chopping down forests, draining swamps that frogs depend on. Infectious diseases, we ship around about 50 to 100 million amphibians around the world each year for pet trade, food trade, laboratory usage, um, zoos and for bait and some of these amphibians are sick and when they get shipped around to a new location they may escape or get set free and take their disease with them and native frogs have no evolved defenses and may go uh, quickly extinct with the new disease. There's also problems over harvesting for pet and food trades. Many millions of frogs are taken out of the wild each year just for use as pets or to be eaten. Invasive species uh, such as trout that get stocked in fishless lakes, eat tadpoles. Crayfish are used as bait by fishermen. They escape and eat newts and salamanders. Um, in Vancouver, there's a big problem with bullfrogs. Bullfrogs compete with native frogs for food resources, and they also eat native frogs. In other parts of the world, there's a problem with cane toads as well, another large amphibian that competes with native frogs for food resources. Uh, there's also issues with pollution and pesticides. Pollution um, and pesticides are a big problem for amphibians because amphibians live, most of them live part of their lives in the water and all of these chemicals end up in the water and the amphibians have permeable skin that absorbs the pollutants and pesticides and causes big problems such as um, hermaphroditism, giving male frogs female sex organs. Uh, can Some pesticides uh, can cause, or pollutants such, such as coal, which is uh, what we get most of our electricity from, causes problems with deforming mouth parts and tadpoles and uh, pesticides change water quality and can lead to things like extra limbs and frogs. There's also problems with global warming um, and uh, droughts in places like Yellowstone National Park which is the world's oldest preserved area. Even in somewhere like that that's been protected for well over a hundred years, ponds are drying up and amphibians depend on these ponds so that's a big problem. So. Why are frogs important? For a variety of reasons. One, frogs eat ticks, mosquitoes, flies that carry malaria, dengue fever, leishmaniasis, West Nile, um, Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, lots of diseases. And um, so the frogs are, they can eat perhaps hundreds of insects in a night, so they're keeping us safe. Tadpoles eat algae and therefore keep our water clean. We're dependent on um, most of us dependent on water that's coming through community filtration systems, so tadpoles are doing us a favor cleaning the water for us. Also, birds, reptiles, fish, dragonflies, monkeys, uh, beetles, spiders, all of these animals eat amphibians, so amphibians are a really important part of the ecosystem, and when the amphibians disappear, lots of other wildlife um, will have problems as well. Um, also, Humans use frogs in medicinal research. 10% of the Nobel Prizes in physiology and medicine have come from research that depended on frogs. So when one species of frogs disappears, then uh, there goes any chance for humans to improve our own well-being through use of that frog.